In the beginning, I had other things in mind. I wanted to be an engineer, I wanted to be something else. Being in Geneva, in the international city like Geneva, close to the UN, I got more and more interested in the United Nations and multilateral diplomacy. So when I went to New York, I studied polit political science, international relations, international law, and diplomacy, and that got me into the UN then. Um, from a field perspective, I would say that when I was uh, accompanying convoys of refugees going back home, the happiness uh, of the refugees when they meet their family members again, it gave me the reason why I was doing what I was doing and gave me the most happiness. You know. um, I don't know, very hard to say. Doing When I was very young, I was very fond of cars. Cars really fascinated me. I had a, a lot of model cars. I love cars. I knew all the um, names of the cars in Geneva. I could uh, memorize them, point them out. And I may have liked to be in that field, maybe in, uh, in auto industry, perhaps, or engineering, perhaps. Uh. Learning from textbook is one thing, but applying it in practical terms, how it was applied in the field, it's something more unique to learn. The youth input into conflict resolution is very important. How they think, what can we do better, the questions I ask in the class today. How can we do things differently? Are we, do we have the right, right envoys? Are we asking the right questions? Are we meeting the right interlocutors? I think the students are very important for me to dialogue, and I enjoy the dialogue with the students than having dialogue with, uh, with uh, others in my work. Languages is one, of course. Uh, second thing is that l learn history and politics and uh, the background of the region that you're covering. Don't go with a mindset, try to be open to understand the different perspective. Always understand both sides of the conflict and be very impartial about your job, about your work, and, and go forward with that. That's what I will say.